You know the whole situation in the world, the feeling down, being unmotivated, unchallenged, frustrated and angry at times, blaming somebody else for whatever reason is not gonna get us anywhere. Hitting the wall is not gonna wake up the creativity in anyone. What happiness means to you? What truly makes you happy? Can you capture happiness with your camera? And I know there's a big difference between the normal times, like in the history 2018, and now, while I'm talking about now, 2021, have you thought about what truly makes you happy? Those little things which can really make you excited and uplift your mood, so you feel like you want to grab your camera and get lost in photography and video. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Esden Karela. It's time for another creative camera challenge for you and also for me. This time I'm gonna be taking photos while you are taking photos for the challenge. So we are all gonna be challenged. To start it off, I grabbed the camera and I started thinking about myself. What truly makes me happy? And I'm gonna be sharing that in today's video and some of you might be even a bit surprised. During normal times, like in 2018, my answer would be very straightforward and that would be obviously figure skating has nothing to do with photography and video. Let me give you a very clear picture. I'm not a pro Olympic figure skater. I'm an adult figure skater. I started when I was 40. I do single jumps. I would eventually love to do maybe a couple double jumps, maybe one or two, but I'm not sure if I'm brave enough. And now I'm going to sound exactly like a Nike commercial from the movie, I think it was called How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. Well, the reason I chose figure skating is because I'm always on the go, I'm extremely busy and I need to clear my head, clear my head from the hectic schedule I have. Even with photography, at that time I was shooting weddings, that was my job, not my really a hobby. And let's put it this way, weddings are hectic and stressful. And I also needed a break from very hectic family schedule. I needed to clean my head. And when I'm on ice, when I'm learning all those new moves and jumps and all that, I really clear my head. I cannot think about anything else because I don't want to break my bones. <laughs> well, adults fall differently. I fall like a bag of potatoes. And when I fall, let's put it this way, Everybody knows. When I learn new skills and I get tested like all the other skaters are getting tested, it feels like a million dollars. When you watch your videos from the first year when you started and then a few years later and you kind of compare the progress, the difference is huge. Every year is getting better and better and better. You are your own enemy. You are fighting with yourself. You don't fight against the other skaters. I fight with fear with my own fear most of the time. And now it's 2021. What makes me happy now? Well, it's not really that easy to answer. Skating was taken away from me due to pandemic. I haven't been skating for a year now. I had some up and downs, I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty sure that you've had some up and downs too since the beginning of the pandemic. And I don't mind being open about this because I truthfully hate lies and pretending, pretending like everything is amazing and perfect, putting on the fake smile just for the camera. I was supposed to see my parents last summer, but that unfortunately got canceled. And this summer it's gonna be three years. I haven't seen them. And they haven't seen their grandchildren. And it's very hard because I'm the only child. There isn't nobody else there. And those three years they haven't seen them, they are not gonna have that chance to have those years when the kids were kind of still kids, not the teenagers again. Well, the next time they're gonna see them, I hope it's gonna be soon. I hope they're not gonna see them in their early teen years. On top of it, the rest of the family is going through their up and downs as well. One of the kids came to me yesterday that she doesn't want to do her competitive sports anymore because simply there are no competitions, there are no shows. She cannot show showcase her skills anywhere 
and it feels like she doesn't understand why she should be putting all the effort and hard work when there is no reward for her at the end. I hope this is gonna change because the endless hours last few years she put into it, it will be a shame. All she wants to do right now is just to stare in her smartphone like the rest of the kids because they have nothing else to do. What truly makes me happy now, well, I realized that actually photography is back. My passion for photography is back. I'm not shooting weddings anymore. So the pressure and the schedule and all that is gone. But I'm taking photos of stuff like just being outdoors and taking photos of random stuff or products or food or anything for this channel. I think that this is one of the answers what truly makes me happy. Just being able to express myself through the camera and through the lens. Being at home locked up is hard, definitely. And I know because I worked um, from home for the last 15 years and once in a while you need to get out, you need to change the location. I think it would be better if you actually work one or two days a week outside of house. So when you are at home, you feel like you're like truly at home. You're not in your workplace 24 seven. So one of the other things which truly makes me happy right now is to go shoot on a location. And the last video was, yeah, in a mud. <laughs> I got very muddy. Um, the one when I was talking about the transitions, but that's just because the winter is going away. Spring, go spring is coming up, but we are in that change of the seasons right now and it's not looking that pretty but the main goal was to talk about the transitions so i really didn't care where i'm going i just needed to get that done and to maintain the social distancing to be safe i just optioned to go to the mud what also makes me really happy is to see the kids being very happy and laugh like i mean laugh and i laugh with them and i want that laugh that true laugh which is coming out of you and it's lasting more than just a few seconds there was one a few days ago I joined a month and a half ago this quite intense fitness program that comes with nutrition and all that. That's why I'm wearing these. And um, our son decided to join for one of the fitness sessions. I warned him. I said, it's going to take 45 minutes and it's going to be brutal. And it was. He was so funny. I haven't laughed like this for so long. I was crying with laughter. I could not stop his commentary, that gentle swearing, the way he was behaving, he was trying to survive those 45 minutes. Of course, the next day he couldn't walk down the stairs, but all he said, I'm doing it next time again, because he's seen that age now. He wants to grow his muscles. Well, I think that that big, bold laugh coming from you is all we need right now, just to bring us the happiness back and feeling uplifted. So the question is, my friends, what truly makes you happy? Can you capture the true happiness, the energy or anything else which makes you happy through your camera, through your lens? Creative Camera Challenge is on. You have until April 30th, 2021 to submit photos and videos if you like to, but please only submit clips. Don't submit the whole video of cut many clips, just, just like a one clip. You can upload it either to ZD Camera Challenge Facebook group, or you can upload it to your Instagram account and use hashtag ZD Happiness 2021. The important part of this challenge is also include in your captions what truly makes you happy. You can write a very short description, you can write a long one, if you want to, you can include the camera and the lens you are using and also the settings. The most unique photos and videos will be showcased and reviewed early in May 2021. Hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you want to. If you have any questions and comments, you can leave them below. I'm looking forward to seeing your work. See you in the next video. Ciao. Ahoy.